So I'll continue with you. What's your vision about exosome therapeutics for the short term and the long term? I think, like Kevin said, um, it's a very, very promising uh, drug. Um, I think one of the big challenge is in the uh, regulatory um, uh, perspective. I think um, because it's so complex, uh, the regulation will be very challenging. But having said that, I think the community as a whole has been very cognizant of this challenge. And we have been discussing a lot and publishing papers. I think it's tractable. Uh, once we recognize that it's complex and the regulation needs to reflect that and un uh, understand that. And I think the biggest challenge of all is understanding how it works. I think the general talk out in outside of the community is that, oh, this is another MSC, nobody knows how it works. And I, I like to correct that misconception. I think we are now, most of us, recognize that this work stop us from getting clinic and we have been working hard drilling down to the molecules so that we understand which molecules in the EV works, how it works. We are not there yet but the data that is coming out from various labs is very promising. It's going to be very rigorous I think, more rigorous than what we have seen in the MSC world. Yeah, I, I agree. Um I, I think what I'm really excited about is with the onset and development of artificial intelligence and, and big data sets now that um, the EV community are, are sharing with each other that um, we now have the opportunity to use some serious computing power to try to understand those hundreds or thousands of interactions that are going on. Whereas somebody sitting in their lab late at night trying to look at all those things gets very buggy eyed very quickly. So I think there's a, a lot of potential for us to uh, crack the nut as they, <laughs> they would say, uh, regarding the mechanisms of action. Yeah, so I, I also believe there's a huge future for extracellular vesicle therapeutics uh, beyond mesochymal stem cells. Um, you know, mesochymal stem cells, vesicles can be further enhanced by loading of different molecules. Uh, and maybe that's important to really get that breakthrough in the clinic. But other types of vesicles can be engineered to carry certain molecules or, or deliver certain molecules to, to recipient cells, which I think is a, um, is, is a big opportunity. I, I believe that uh, exosome therapeutic candidates will continue to evolve and there will be new ones for many years to come and far beyond my lifetime and probably your lifetimes as well. And with that, I would like to say thank you for your attention. Yeah.